Hey, how you doing? Okay, I received a query in from a student, Raheem. Hey. Uh, he asked how to report the area of windows in his schedule. Okay, now the way I'm going to answer that is to show how to create a calculated field in the schedule. So we calculate the area of the windows by the width multiplied by the height. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and create a window schedule with a marked field width and height, and then we'll do the calculated field of area. So let's do it. Okay, we got our sample house. So we're gonna go ahead and make a window schedule. Uh, so if you scroll down in your project browser, uh, down to schedules and quantities, it's below legends and above sheets, okay? You right click on schedules and quantities and select new schedule quantities, okay? Now we're making a window schedule. So I'll scroll down this list to windows and select. You can rename it here if you'd like. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as phase new construction and click okay. Now it's going to ask us for what fields to put into the schedule. Now you can change this later. You can add and take them away, so that's not an issue. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put in uh, three simple fields. The, the mark, which identifies the window. And I could put in the level. I'm not, I'm not going to. So mark, width, and height. Now the student has asked me... Okay, I'll just click OK on that. The student has asked me how to... Uh, how to report the area of the windows in the schedule. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculated parameter that calculates the area of the window by the width and height. Okay. So we do that by, we'll go back into our fields and click edit. And we have a button right here that says add calculated parameter. So click that. We need to name this parameter. So it's the area we're looking for. Okay. So we've just called it area. Area. Uh, you can leave the discipline as common. Type, it's not a number. We want it to actually be an area parameter. Okay, so we'll change this to area from the list. Okay, and the formula is done like so. Okay, we click into the box there and there's a button beside it. If you click that, you can select your parameter from here. So width, okay. Star for multiply by. Click back into our box, height. Okay, so our formula is width by height, which is area. And okay, and okay. And there we are. So we have a calculated parameter. It's reporting the area based on the width and the height of the shed, of the, the, the window in the schedule. Okay. Now we may not want the unit there because if we're going to export the schedule, that you know we're going to have to do more work than Excel or whatever to get rid of those units so that we can we can use them as as a, as digits. So if you want to select a field there, you in that sh that column we can uh, click on format unit. Okay. So we're going to override the project settings. So Uncheck project uh, settings, change the decimal maybe to two decimal places and get rid of the unit symbol. Just select none and OK. Now, you can identify the units if you want to by changing the header of the uh, column. So area, you can put in brackets, square meters. And similarly, you can do the same with height and width. You can put in millimeters. Now, there's more work to be done in this schedule uh, in appearance. Uh, you want to change, control your, your text size. Uh, if you want striped rows, there's formatting where you place your text is the right or the left, the center, and so on. So th there's more work to do for your, your schedules before you put on a sheet, I think. But maybe we'll just leave that for a different video, okay? That's it, folks. I hope you found that useful, uh, as usual. If you did, give it a like, put a comment in, and uh, as always, subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Uh, see you in the next one. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.